And this particular one is called a pine snake. And pine snakes, they're hissers, kind of spirited hissers. Let's see if he'll you're kind of, <laughs> And they're powerful constrictors. And you can see this one is kind of wrapping up and starting to squeeze my hand. And that's that's more to subdue rats and things like that today. <laughs> so I'm getting, I tend to get very enthusiastic with <laughs> So if I get too close to you, let me know. No, you're good. But harmless, well not, I mean they do, they, they can bite, like, but yeah, they would only bite in self-defense. But just a magnificent animal. Yes. Awful lot of people kill these because they hiss. They maybe su superficially look a little bit like rattlesnakes. <laughs> and it's really unfortunate because this is a species that's really declined throughout its entire range in the United States. The Slater Tract is a perfect place for them, or at least a lot of the habitat on it is. And again, Sorry. a lot of times you'll see them go down into gopher tourist burrows. They probably take refuge in the burrows. Also, there's a lot of humidity in those burrows. So it's a, it's a better place to hang out in terms of avoiding desiccation. Oh, and also, they would eat Pullionotus, which oh, is the old field mouse, which will go down in the burrows as well. Sometimes you've got a tortoise in there with a snake. There are certain arrangements that probably don't work. You know, but the, old field mouse and snake is probably not a great uh -huh. combination, for instance. You have the gopher tortoises. That means you have suitable habitat for lots of other things as well. And that sandy soil is part of the part of the key for some of these guys.